Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to make a file browser. You need to add a list view, button, text box, label and image list to form one. When you click open button a folder browser dialog show allow select path, then all files show in list view control and you can click on the icon to open any file. You need to change the image size of image list control. Image list is typically used by other controls, such as the list view, tree view, or toolbar. You can add bitmaps or icons to the image list, and the other controls are able to use the images as they require. Image list uses a handle to manage the list of images. The handle is not created until certain operations, such as getting the handle or calling draw, are performed on the image list. Performing other operations, such as setting the color depth or image size will cause the handle to be recreated. Therefore, you should perform these operations before you add images to the image list. Folder Browser Dialog class provides a way to prompt the user to browse, create, and eventually select a folder. Use this class when you only want to allow the user to select folders, not files. Browsing of the folders is done through a tree control. Only folders from the file system can be selected. You can also optionally set the description property to provide additional instructions to the user. Finally, call the show dialog method to display the dialog box to the user. When the dialog box is closed and the dialog box resolved from show dialog is dialog resolved OK, the selected path will be a string containing the path to the selected folder. You need to add extract icon associated with the file to image list control. Extract associated icon method returns an icon representation of an image that is contained in the specified file. We use file info class to get file name. Use the file info class for typical operations such as copying, moving, renaming, grading, opening, 
deleting and appending to files. If you are performing multiple operations on the same file, it can be more efficient to use file info instance methods instead of the corresponding static methods of the file class, because a security check will not always be necessary. We use the process class to process open file. This class provides access to local and remote processes and enables you to start and stop local system processes. A process component provides access to a process that is running on a computer. A process, in the simplest terms, is a running app. A thread is the basic unit to which the operating system allocates processor time. A thread can execute any part of the code of the process including parts currently being executed by another thread. Thank you for watching this video.